G'day guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Wildcard. Thank you for watching my content. I really do appreciate it. I am calm now. I'm relaxed. I had some coffee and I uh, just watched Wales versus Argentina in the uh, Autumn Nation series. Uh, this is exactly the game that I wanted to see to relax myself a little bit, to calm my nerves. And uh, after the, uh, the uh, let's not talk about it. Uh, so this will be a pretty good game for a lot of you Welsh fans as well. After the Welsh has been beaten convincingly last week by the All Blacks and also losing to Italy. How embarrassing <laughs> at home uh, in, um, in the last game with Six Nations. So this is actually, you know, one of the home games they really wanted to deliver for their fans. And I'm sure they did. They did deliver the win over a team, uh, Argentina side, that is many to believe that was probably the favourites going to this game after beating England last week. And uh, yeah, the Welsh did it. The Welsh did it with probably the most stereotypical, the most Welsh of the Welsh style of rugby. This was almost Warren Gatlin-like uh, in terms of the way they played. Uh, it was almost like the Welsh just forgotten about everything else that is that 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 is rugby except for making tackles. They just made tackles and tackles and tackles. This impeccable defense all game, and then. Uh, when the opportunities arises, they try to create that little bit of chaos and use some of that speedsters that they've got out wide to, 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 to try to get that uh, opportunity for a try, try to get themselves in a position for a penalty. And that's how they kind of won the game, the most Welsh style of, 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 of Welsh performances. Uh, if you ask me how the overall performances is outside of tackling, uh, nothing really <laughs> worked that well. Uh, again, very typical Welsh style. Um, so they... The scrums, I thought they were under a fair bit of pressure. The, the lineouts, they lost two of their own throws. Uh, Argentina's lineout wasn't that clean either. Uh, they Their kicking game wasn't that accurate <laughs> either. So they weren't really able to, despite the attempt of uh, the many really good attempts of trying to, you know, get a high ball in and try to potentially uh, create a bit of a chaos and score a try, so to speak. Uh, they really didn't able to pull that out. Uh, but... Uh, the slow style, the, 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 the good defense really uh, made Argentina pay in terms of their, um, the, in terms of the Argentina's ability to, to, to score. So the Welsh also did really well at the breakdowns. They really just overcommitted the breakdown almost every time. So even if they don't get the turnover at the breakdown, just you know creating that bit of resistance really slowed the game down a lot for the Argentina side as well. And obviously, Argentina is one of the teams that Michael Checker has worked a lot in terms of having uh, like a set sort of attack plans from their set piece. And if those set of plans, plans don't work out, uh, Argentina was just looking like they run out of ideas. They just really don't know what to do with uh, once their sort of set piece, set piece plays don't really work, don't yet, yeah, don't get the results that they're looking for, whether it be a penalty or a try. Suddenly, um, it just looked like the Argentinians were running out of ideas and running into a brick wall. And then the Welsh just looked more than happy to make tackles all game. Uh, it was quite an impressive defensive performance. We'll have a look at the stats in a second. Uh, so in terms of Argentina, like I was saying, uh, I did feel like maybe some of the players were... Yeah, I, was, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I wasn't sure... Um, about some of the strategies the Argentinians were trying to try, like I, I wasn't sure what the Argentinians' strategy is this game. They came out, they had some really uh, like a really good start. Uh, I thought they should have pressed their advantage, but instead they just kicked took a couple of goals and then just kind of like taking the uh, foot off the gas pedal a little bit. I felt like it was almost like they they got two quick penalties on the board, and it was almost like. They feel like they. It was almost like Argentinians felt like it was going to be an easy game ahead of them. So they really took the 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 um the foot off the gas after the first ten minutes or so, and then yeah, and then they got into this grind fest with Wales where they really can't break through. Uh, the set piece moves seems to have not worked, and then they just end up doing the same thing again and again and again, and not really able to make any opportunities through especially when they start falling behind uh that goal kicking starting to not become starting to looking like not going to be a good option anymore they kept trying to to you know to go for the line outs credit to the argentinians they did try for the tries they did go for the set piece instead of just 
trying to chip away the scoreboard with three points. Uh, but yeah, the Walsh defense was just on another level, wasn't able to breach through. Um, it, uh, yeah, so this, yeah, and also I thought was a little bit surprising as well. They took Carreras off the number 10 at 67th minute. I thought they should probably keep him on for the full period of the game, especially when you're chasing the game. Um, the Walsh also made a few changes. I thought they took out, you know, obviously the, um, the center, um, Tompkins really early as well, 50, 50, well, like less than 60 minutes. They took him off and then also took up Anscom just a bit after, uh, like just around, just a bit after 60 minutes as well. I thought that uh, those changes were a little bit surprising, but it did work out for Wales, uh, the way they played. So with that being said, let's have a look at some of the stats. So yeah. Um, in terms of run meters, pretty close in overall, to be, to be fair. 393 run meters to, to Wales, 352 to Argentina. At halftime, the run meters, uh, Wales was dominating the run meters at halftime. 252 already to Argentina's 119. The halftime score was only 10 points to 6, so both teams are pretty close at uh, halftime. And the turnovers conceded, this is something that, uh, that really, like, Argentina really suffered in the second half. So at halftime... Wales conceded four turnovers and Argentina conceded five. So Argentina conceded 11 turnovers in the second half and Wales conceded only seven. Yeah, so in the second half. So really big difference in second half. Uh, really hurt Argentina a lot. Uh, there was literally, uh, how long did it take? Yeah, it, it was literally like almost like an hour or something when Argentina didn't score uh, any points. So yeah, it was quite painful. And the tackle count analysis was saying this is absolutely just superb defense from the Welsh team. 181 tackles made, only 15 missed tackles. This is something that you can be proud of. This is something that is incredibly impressive. Less than 10% missed tackles. And uh, at halftime, Wales only had to make 54 tackles and only missed three. So really, really, really good effort from the Welsh side. As you can see here, Argentina, 115 tackles made. 21 missed tackles, still not too bad. Like 21 is a little bit on the high end for something for a team that makes just a bit over 100 tackles, but still not that bad. It's still like a pass uh, for, for any international team, to be honest. So it's not like Argentina was really bad, but Wales was just like one more level up in terms of that defense. Uh, kicks in play, there was a, quite a bit of kicking. I thought Wales managed the kicking game quite nicely, especially in the second half when they needed. Argentina, on the other hand, was starting to do a little bit of, uh, uh, I thought, unnecessary kicking, and it was almost like the running out of ideas sort of kicks, uh, especially in the second half. So at halftime, there was only 10 kicks from Wales. So Wales really understood what they needed to do in the first half and held on to the ball It was uh, when they needed. So in the second, uh, and also Argentina had 15 kicks. So in the second half, the kicking really got out of hand a little bit. Uh, Wales... Uh, Wales... Wales did 25 kicks in the second half, while Argentina did 24. So, a lot more kicking for Wales part, but that was, you know, exactly the game plan that Wales kind of wanted to manage the game because they were leading by a bit. Whereas Argentina, trying to kick the ball away, kind of just, yeah, gives the possession back to Wales. Uh, wasn't really the ideal, but then again, the, the Welsh defense was so good. Uh, it, it, really didn't, it really didn't look like Argentina had any other options of times. It was quite uh, quite um, quite impressive from the Welsh part. Lineouts, like I said, not clean for either of the teams. Two losses for for Wales out of eight. 16 lineouts, one from Argentina, three lost. Uh, scrums was pretty even in terms of no one lost their scrums. But I did think that Argentina had a bit of dominance. A couple of, I think, uh, Wales scrum got penalized at least once for slipping down. It did look like Argentina had a bit more, a uh, bit more of the power on the Welsh defense. Uh, Wales did consider a bit too many penalties. Uh, but the good news was that they they were leading the game. So Argentina wasn't able to just kick three points to try to get the, the, the scoreboard back ticking. They opted to go for the lineouts. Uh, but then, yeah, they were not able to breach through for the most part. Wales did give away one yellow card, which was Rollins. Uh, really stupid penalty. He was in the rack, reached out, slapped the boy out of the... Um, like on the ground, essentially slapped the boy out of the halfback's hand. Uh, quite, you know... Quite a bit of a professional foul there, but um, yeah, that is what it is. Um, this was a very Welsh style of game. So let's just go through some of the key points of the game. Uh, 
So yeah, so Argentina actually came out really, really good in the first 15 minutes or so. In fact, uh, I thought there was, yeah, in fact, it, maybe everybody on the field and even me thought this was potentially going to be just a one-sided fest for Argentina, could potentially win by fire a bit this game uh, because the Argentinians just looked like they were dominating position. They were pounding the Welsh defense. Uh, the referee already gave away like a uh, penalty warning to Wales. Uh, in like in about 10 minutes right like well, you were giving away too many penalties we're coming to start yellow calling people uh and argentina uh after securing all these good options i really felt i should have pushed to at least get the yellow card maybe uh they opted for three points so they got themselves ahead with two penalties in 13 minutes six points to nil and after that they were not able to score till what 68th minute so that is yeah well 50 minutes right 55 minutes almost an hour it took argentina almost an hour to score again so that is really 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 yeah painful in terms of um in terms of the, the team so after that argentina um yeah argentina was able to get themselves on board early uh there was a bit of weird kicking going on between the welsh side and skin was doing some weird like cross field kicks uh that was just a bit bizarre but both teams were doing a bit of weird kicking this game on um, the 25th minute, Ken, uh, finally, Wilds get themselves in the Argentina half. It looked like Ken Owens had an opportunity, just piling, like the Welsh team was just pounding the trial line. Nine faces, pick and go. Looked like Ken Owens crashed over. And um, pretty sure it was Lavanini. Knocks the boy out of his hand as he's going over the trial line. Uh, this was a huge save. Huge save. You can see the face uh, on Ken Owens' face. Uh, he was super <laughs> disappointed. On the 30 minute, Again, Wiles show some guts. In, you know, they're only six points behind. They could just kick three points and try to slowly get the sport, scoreboard, scoreboard back. Uh, so credits the Welsh going uh, back themselves for another opportunity to go for a more try. In, you know, 30 minutes into the game, you still haven't scored a single point. A lot of teams will just go, hey, let's take the three. But Wiles goes, nah, we're going to go for the try. And the setup, the more worked out perfectly, immediately uh, rolls the more through seven points. So that paid off, paid off for Wiles on the 30 minutes. Uh, this is something that I was really kind of like pleased to see as well because this showed like a lot of maturity and a lot of game and good game management. It's not just like, hey, let's get some points on the board. It's 30 minutes into the game and uh, let's just try get some points and see what happens. Like, like, you know, and then keep the scoreboard ticking. Uh, a lot of teams will do this at this point, but Wiles managed to back themselves for a try and it paid off. So this was, you know really really good for uh for me so just before half time on 35 minutes uh on the clock whilst again pressured into argentina half gets himself an opportunity for a penalty this time uh Wiles was more than happy to take the three just got because the half time is approaching so the kick that one 10 points to six going to half time uh pretty happy with that slight lead second half starts um the argentina i mean the both teams are kind of going back and forth a little bit uh, it took six minutes in the second half. Uh, again, Wiles is starting to, you can tell, he's starting to get into that little game management. So, um, Thomas Williams gets the ball. He, like, he was like near the sideline. He was kind of running out of space. He chips the ball down the down the sideline and he runs after pressure the kick. Um, Carreras gets the ball. He tries to clear it out. He gets charged down by, um, by uh, Thomas Williams. Tom, Tom Williams actually got a number of, like, two charge downs, I think, this game. Was quite impressive, the, the way he pressured his kicks. Uh, gets a charge down and his scoop put a ball up after the ball, um, yeah, scoops the ball up, chases down, scoops the ball up, scores a try. So, suddenly, Wiles is leading 17 points to the six, uh, 46 minutes into the game. Uh, the, so, I've noted here, Tomkins came off at 52 minutes, Mark, uh, for Watkins. I thought this was really early. Tomkins is one of the like highest work rates guy in the, you know, on the field. Maybe that's why they're taking him off because his work rate is so high. They feel like he's just, you know, getting worn down. So yeah, I thought it was interesting there. So the, again, the second half, the Wilds really, really hammered the breakdowns. And it was just like the Argentinians was, Argentinians were not able to get any kind of forward momentum because the breakdown is constantly being pressured. Um, they they have overcommitted their diff the, the forwards into the deep onto the breakdown so the car really set up a pod and also a lot of times uh wires were able to turn the ball over so uh it just just slows the breakdown it just slows down the breakdown 
uh, commit, forcing Argentina to commit their forwards into the pod instead of just setting up, uh, instead of setting up for the next attack. Uh, and, and it uh, really creates opportunities for turnovers. So Wales was doing really, really well there uh, to disrupt. Uh, 53 minutes into the game, there was a penalty against Wales. Argentina kicks the boy out for a 10 meter line out. They crash and crash and crash. It looked like Argentina was finally going to get over. They gets over the trial line and then get held up. Yeah, it was really, really, really close. Uh, 55 minutes into the game, Rollins uh, cynically knocks the ball out of the halfback hand from inside the rock when he was on the ground and he gets a yellow card. This was quite stupid. Uh, 57 minutes into the game, um, Argentina backs himself once again. Again, you know, this is, I have to give credit to Argentina here. They were behind. They could just chip, you know, they haven't scored a point for quite a long. They could have opted for a, um, a three-pointer, but they backed themselves for a try. They kicked the ball out for a more. The more it looked like Argentina was, was just going to more the uh, more through for a try, but the uh, Wales hold, held on. They get the ball out. They just attack. They attack. They, they crash the ball, crash the ball. And Pablo Matera drops the ball. Yeah, this was a really, really good defense by Welsh. Again, just pressured a um, uh, mistake out of Matera, someone who don't typically make mistakes like that. 62 minutes into the game. Uh, so Wales still has a yellow card. Was able to get inside Argentina half after some really good game management. Gets himself another opportunity to kick three points. So Wiles kick another three. So despite having a play in the bin, Wiles actually scored the only points during that 10 minute period. Uh, immediately after Rollins gets back on the field, Argentina gets a penalty. They kick the ball out uh, to set up for a more. Finally, this time the more worked. Last time the more was just like going sideways. It was going to get pushed out. This time they they went like they, they throw the ball far to the to the furthest jumper, like the what do you call it, the sixth jumper. It's the sixth position. They, they essentially set the more up as far away from the, from the, from the sideline as possible. And they immediately uh, rolled the more towards the goalpost so that the, the more was just immediately start going inwards to the field. So, the, so you know, um, yeah, so, so the, 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 um, the Welsh four pack from the, basically from the front was not able to come in quick enough. And Argentina just immediately steamrolled the more over for a try. Uh, that was really well, like, really smartly and well executed for Argentina side. Suddenly the scoreboard is 20 points to 13. Uh, so there, there's about 12 minutes left. It looked like Argentina could potentially pull up an upset uh, with plenty of time to score a try. But uh, yeah, why else with that impeccable defense and just was more than happy to play the kicking game for the last 10 minutes or so. There was a lot of cheap over the top back and forth between both teams. Um, in fact, Wiles had one really good opportunity to score a try as well. There was one point where, um, uh, what's his name? I think it was Tomo Williams again, or maybe it was Priestland. Just dropped a huge bomb under the post. And uh, Argent, you know, there was a big scramble for this. This ball bounced as well as a bit, a bit of scramble. And uh, Argentina was able to secure it, but it was like, yeah, inches away from the, who was it that, yeah, from Georgia North to get that, go that, that, that high ball and could just easily score a try there. So that was a, a really good attempt by Wiles, uh, but Argentina was able to defuse that and they kind of like ran it out like 50 meters uh, with a counter tag, which was really good as well. But overall, I thought Wiles really managed the last 10 minutes quite well. They kept Argentina pinned inside their own half with a kicking game and just pressure the defense on them and forcing Argentina to essentially kick the ball back. And Wales just went, all right, well, you've kicked the ball back to us, we'll kick the ball back to you. Uh, you can keep running out of you on 22 for if you if you wanted to, to win the game. And uh, yeah, sure enough, Argentina was not able to do so. And uh, yeah, Wales, in typical Welsh fashion, wins this one, 20 points to 13. Uh, let me know your thoughts about this game. And... Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate it. And uh, see you guys a bit later for the uh, Springboks game. Cheers.